Okay guys, welcome to a new video. Let's go for for a short ride and speak about Tiger 660 and this um, motorcycle segment in general. The motorcycles in the 6 700 cc category. Because I believe there is something we, we should talk about. And by the way, look at this view guys. I, as you might notice, I always trying to bring you to the best locations from where you can enjoy beautiful, beautiful views. And today we're riding this road on Tiger 660 because I believe this bike shines in this in such locations. You can do highway job on this bike but I believe that uh, the beauty of this bike is exactly in this range between maybe 60 to 120 100 kilometers per hour where you don't really need to go fast and you can enjoy you can you know look around I've been truly enjoying this bike uh, riding in city between intercity and also in the mountains but the reason why I decided to record this video today is because I believe that people always chasing like bigger bikes they want bigger bikes which have more power they have more let's say features and uh, motorcycles like this uh, they remain unnoticed let's say trident was one of their again best-selling motorcycles for triumph uh, over the past couple of years since it's been introduced and that's the reason why triumph actually came up with this uh, motorcycle with this platform uh, on which uh, tiger is also based because they saw the success of uh, yamaha mt07 and yamaha mt07 is one of the best-selling uh, street motorcycles in Europe in general Yamaha sold many of those motorcycles and there is a reason for that people just want versatile low-cost motorcycle which they can ride in city which they can uh, sometimes take for for a short trip so and then of course uh, Yamaha based on MT07 success Yamaha introduced uh, Tracer 7 uh, which is I would say the main competitor to Tiger 660 and Tiger 660 been introduced a couple of years ago by by Triumph because they saw the opportunity in this niche they wanted they saw that people actually need good looking um, compact motorcycle which they can use in in city but same time which they can take for you know for a short trip i like this bike on uh, mountain twisty roads because it has kind of shorter wheelbase a little bit longer than uh, trident but shorter than uh, biggest bigger um, sport touring motorcycles uh, because it has um, let's say really comfortable suspension travel it's 150 in front 150 in the rear um, that's what overall creates really good package like comfortable package uh, to ride this motorcycle on twisties to ride this motorcycle in city you know i i just easily flipping it from left to right um, and i like it and now we are going around the base kind of coastal road uh, one of the scenic roads which you can find here i hope i will show you more in just in a bit because i actually want to show you the beauty of this road and um, again we have a bus in front of us but look you just right here you cruise at 50 60 kilometers per hour and uh, you just enjoy such views look at these views guys how beautiful is it? You don't really need to go fast. 
you just want to enjoy all of those you know curvy roads see all of those like old buildings like this one see the mountains in front of you it is like beautiful picture right and that's where this bike is actually shines as i mentioned before let's be honest this is a beautiful motorcycle this is truly beautiful motorcycle which uh, fits really nicely into their in-city environment so you park it next to the restaurant next to the cafe uh, it will just you know it will just it will just blend with uh, with that environment i would say this bike has really i would say enormous store box which is nicely fitted into the design of the motorcycle and usually it's enough for me to take everything i need with me look at these guys i just wanted to share with you this views right beautiful so again I did not even shift the gearbox it was fourth gear I accelerated I overtaken this guy and that's it huge service intervals like 16,000 kilometers or 10,000 miles which is by today's market standard is like it's huge for some it, it actually twice from some of other manufacturers I'm not saying that you have to follow this guideline I would say because my personal opinion is better to maintain your bike much often so you keep it uh, fresh and uh, well in, in in really good condition and even on the road like this you see it just shines beautiful okay guys so those are the thoughts i wanted to share with you just to take you with me on the right and just you know speak about it about this bike a little bit i'm not saying that tiger 660 is the only choice i'm saying that tiger 660 and uh, alternative options can be the real good choice for daily commuting for daily ride they just really well balance from every aspect of uh, motorcycling including actually maintenance and insurance and all of those things which come along with uh, owning the motorcycle right so let me know what do you think guys what is uh, what is your opinion on that and uh, as usual leave your comments in the section in comment section below and also don't forget that uh, i have patreon page where i put some of their uh, behind the scenes content where I, where i'm answering your questions so if by any means you want to support me you can always go there and uh, and subscribe i will be i will be really happy to see you there okay so um i'll enjoy a little bit of more ride today and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching till the end guys Okay, cheers.